it is. How do you forget you have a Louis Vuitton duffel bag? Oh my gosh, you guys, ridiculous. It was all hidden underneath there. Too much, like it's hard to look. So I'm actually gonna swap how I organize it out. In my office, there is like a shoe holder with like different pockets. A little too small, but it is so cute. So I wanna keep it, it's such a good one. It's from ASO, it's like an 80s style dress. Room right now. <gasps> That's all to sell. Stay tuned, you guys. Go follow me. Go through all my denim, because I know some doesn't fit anymore. so my declutter get organized video is finally here I've been sharing I need to get my room clean I get my office organized my bathroom and I've had it like I've had it up to here like it's been so frustrating so room is first I've already pulled off my bedding it's in the wash this has been piled in a corner that I need to go through I'm going to be selling clothes on Instagram for now if I have leftovers I might upload onto Depop or something but it's just so much easier for me to um, just so much easier for me to upload onto stories and share things I'm selling because it's just quicker versus piling and uploading to another app so I will be uploading there be sure to follow me on Instagram so you guys can get the new new and see what's going on I'm there every single day also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like my vlogs if you like these videos I have other declutter videos up on my channel um, and yeah haven't perfected it just yet still organizing and cleaning but yeah we are gonna jump into my closet and get rid of things I'm just not in love with anymore so that is the goal for today this might be a series so stay tuned for that in the meantime I'm gonna insert clip of me organizing ooh, this door which was cluttered with belts i had previously filmed that i've been trying to film a vlog um or i'm trying to film a video of me decluttering and this was an idea that i randomly thought of using a shoe back of door shoe organizer and i have all my belts wrapped up in a circle like so and it keeps its shape which is really nice because it was hanging on this belt hook and they're bending and getting ruined so that's what that is i have a trash bag for trash i'm gonna start with my shoes I've been really into wearing sneakers these days a lot more. I have these rows of boots that I'm not wearing right now. So I think I'm gonna store them in the meantime. I've never really stored things. I know that's a thing in like other states with, um, am I zoomed in too much? No, um, I know that's a thing for people that have seasonal weather and I live in California, so it doesn't get too cold, it gets hot, and boots aren't really a thing right now for me, and I've been wearing a shit ton of sneakers, so let's get that started and organized and get going. out all my boots and I'm using this under bed storage Diego's using the lid to chew a chewy right now and these aren't gonna fit so I might need to get another box but I love my boots they're pretty classic style so I don't want to get rid of them they're pretty trash these are Steve Madden's oh sorry I'm like zooming in <laughs> These are a pair of Steve Madden's, um, but I still like these boots, like they're classic, so I'm not gonna get rid of them. I've pulled out my shoes, you guys. I love shoes, shoes are my thing. I don't wear them all, so that's the thing, especially during quarantine, I'm like, do I need knee-high boots? Do I need platforms? Like, I don't know, but who knows? I don't know what life's gonna be like post-quarantine, so we shall see, but I pulled all the shoes out and I put some over here that I'm going to post right now on Instagram. These are super cute, fairly new. I just haven't worn them. These are so cute and comfortable. I got them out of Woke Vintage in New York, such a great thrift store in Brooklyn. 
These were gifted to me by Miss Lola, but I'm obsessed with my dad Chanel sneaker sneakers <laughs> sandals. So not gonna wear these I know these were such a cool pair that van sent me and I love them but I don't wear them unfortunately and they're such a cool piece the Sandy Leon collab Woo. Sandy Leon collab with vans these are a great pair that I love so much I wore them in Cabo I'll insert a photo here they're just a little too big like my heel hits the tag here and it just doesn't look cute you know rocking big shoes and then these are really cool I haven't worn them Worn them around the house. Actually, I've worn them once. Saludo, so comfortable, suede. And then these Nikes are a little too big, but they're a size eight and they definitely fit like an eight and a half, nine. So I'm gonna post these right now on Instagram and still keep going. All right, so I changed because I'm gonna head out to eat some burritos with my friends, but um, sold a couple of the shoes already, which is really nice and all the shoes are out so well sorry d um the way i'm doing this is the shoes i don't wear often that are pretty timeless i'm stepping on my shoes like these black velvet pumps which come in clutch during the holidays i am sticking my gosh you guys can't even see but i'm sticking at the top let me brighten this Still pretty dark, but um, I am so I'm sticking up at the top here since you guys can't even see, but so they can you know still be around. There's also I love lace up heels, so something like this, they are so comfortable by Steve Madden. It's just so hard to want to keep heels right now because I'm not wearing them, so we'll still keep them have this up there my brother got it for me from Russia but it's so cute um yeah so all the shoes I'm not really wearing right now top top they're like more holiday shoes and then going in that level of like I do wear them I want them so let's keep going lazy to get my tripod so we're gonna prop on a Chanel shoe box right now I'm back home it is 11 46 at night I am so full. I ate two burritos. Ugh, they were really good, but I need to cool on the burritos. You, know, you eat too much, you feel bloated. I feel so bloated. But um, I wanted to get all these shoes off my floor before I go to bed. And while I'm kind of keeping the shoes I'm going to keep, like these Nikes, I am cleaning them. So they were super dirty. I don't know if you guys can see the scuffs. And this one looks way cleaner and this one is still dirty. My favorite stain remover, you guys, is Folex. So I owl and spraying the Folex on and then just wiping the shoe clean. It's crazy how clean these get. So that scuff right there, you see it? Just wiped off a little bit. Amazing. So I'm going to spray a little bit more Folex and clean it off. I think taking your guys' shoes out and giving them a nice little clean is so great because I haven't cleaned these in a while. And if I don't clean them now, I probably won't take the time to clean them. So just taking an extra, you know, couple minutes to clean. And Folex is amazing. Look at that scuff is gone. I could do another scrub, but still, for the most part, these have been scuffed for a while and it doesn't ruin the shoe. And I really like it. So I'm doing that right now. I have a couple other shoes. Sold probably four, five out of the six, seven pairs of shoes I shared. So that's awesome. And then and tomorrow we will get to the closed portion of my closet and I'll be sharing what I'm selling. So again, be sure to follow me, you guys, on Instagram if you want to catch some clothes. And if I do have enough time and maybe not everything sells, I might reopen my Depop. Again, I love Depop. I've sold a lot of clothes on there. So yeah, tomorrow we'll get into the clothes and edit out. Again, I'm just sticking with what I love and what I think is timeless. I can get stressy, like stress myself out a little bit 
as a fashion lover and blogger, you know, fashion always repeats itself. So it's like, do I get rid of this? But I definitely love the quality classic things that I know are timeless. Um, and I'm just trying to, you know, sell and pass on things that I still love, but I know I might not wear or that I haven't worn, even though I love it. Just trying to declutter. So yeah, shoes are a lot cleaner and then I'll do clothes tomorrow. <laughs> Hello! It is 2 o'clock, you guys, and haven't hopped in the room just yet to get organized. I had to package up all those orders, including my shoe sales, which is awesome. So, headed to the post office to drop those off, but, um, oh my gosh, I just spit. <laughs> um, but my friend who does my packaging, he's out of town right now, and... I am going to have to be at the post office for a bit to like have 20 labels made and I would use a little kiosk machine but that happened to me once where I got the labels mixed up and it was really frustrating so I'm gonna have to have a postal person help me so yeah when I get back we'll get into my room but I actually might stop at we'll have to stop at my PO box and then stop at home goods because I might want to get these like little see if they even have anything the last couple times I've gone during COVID, you guys, there's nothing there, which is kind of fine. I mean, I like kind of like small business stuff, to be honest, but um, out of convenience, it's nice to grab and get what you need sometimes. So, yeah, let's go. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got an office chair at Home Goods. I almost forgot to stop here. And I found the chair I've been wanting. Not necessarily like this folded Bottega Veneta vibe, but it's kind of chic and it was way less expensive compared to the true vintage ones and the one I wanted. And then we got mom a little armoire. Right back home. I didn't show you the dress we got my mom because the guy came and I always get awkward with my vlog camera. <laughs> but this is the basket I got and it might be a little too big. But I got it for this here. So let's take these out. I wasn't that productive today. Well, I was productive, but I didn't get much done in my closet today. So... We'll have to get to it tomorrow, which is fine. Why it's dirty in there. Well, probably because of my smudge stick, it's breaking apart. more smudge sticks cute little scarf my brother got me oh I lost my little earring that came from here from the last line this is my Cartier ring and my bracelet box that I still have So I wanted it to go this way. Actually might, but I think it'll be better this way. And I don't know if I love it. I should have probably measured it. I mean, luckily I can return it. I don't like it, but I kind of wanted two. I'm gonna measure it and try to get two little boxes like this, but I'm gonna move these out and put them underneath here so I can put all my other designer purses here so I can actually see them. But I thought this was really cute. It's like white and has pink embroidery, but I think it takes up too much space. So we're gonna exchange this baby. Hopefully I still have the receipt. I just had it, actually I did. What is it? This is it. Yeah, kids decor home. All right, I'm gonna return that. I don't like it. Um, but I want something ultimately to store all of my wallets, like so. you can see I do have a great assortment of designer wallets you guys this was my first Louis Vuitton piece ever 
little bougie chick when I was like 10 years old. <laughs> Um, convinced my dad I needed it and I don't know what happened I didn't tell him it was how much it cost and he was so mad at me very mad at me for buying that I had a little Prada wallet but it's not in here so I think I might need to throw that box out and yeah those are all my wallets so I want something nice to store them in little coin purses Claire Beaver I need to throw that out I like Claire Beaver, some good ones, little coin purse, and yeah, that's it for now, but yeah, I don't care for the basket, so we'll try again tomorrow, or I'll look something up online. Hey guys, so it is Saturday afternoon, the day just flew by, I had a couple errands to run with my mom, and we are back home, and I need to get into this closet so bad. But it's kind of hard too because I love a lot of the pieces. Fashion tends to repeat itself. So I've already gone through that side a bit. I need to pull the boxes out still. But now I'm going to go through this side. And there's like things that I do love that I haven't worn yet that I want to wear. But if I haven't worn it, I am just going to get rid of it or sell it on Instagram. So how I am deciding on things are like does it spark joy so let's get into it so I love this dress one of my favorites I feel like I've gained a little bit of weight so it might be a little too small but it is so cute so I want to keep it it's such a good one it's from ASOS like an 80s style dress this one's a super fun one it's from nasty gal and it is a statement, but I haven't worn it in a while, and I did like it. I wore it in Co at Coachella, in Coachella. I'll link the photo that I actually haven't worn. It's a good one in a while. Well, I also need one of these to reach my closet because I am short. It's like working at a store, you guys is one of my favorites like I love the cut of it it's from nasty gal such a good one shoulder pad 80 style I love a good 80 style dress this is a super cute dress from Lulu's I'm gonna keep it it's a classic you guys white puff sleeve dress and then this one I thrifted I haven't worn it yet it's by Zimmerman I got it in New York I'll link my Brooklyn New York City thrift haul and I feel like it's a great holiday dress I haven't even gotten a chance to wear it yet but I love it so I'm gonna keep that <laughs> promise I'm getting rid of stuff this dress is actually from Revolve and I thought it'd be cute for the summer but haven't worn it yet so we'll go ahead and sell that this is a super cute dress little leopard slip dress from Miss Lola. I feel like I have like statement pieces, you know, pieces that like are good for specific events, not necessarily things you could rock every day. Um, these dress, oh my gosh. Ah! You guys, all these dresses I love. Like I actually have gone through my closet already. This is a good one. Rock this for a Revolve event. Love that. This one was so cute. I wore it on a date, but I could probably sell it. It's a little small. The shoulder needs to be tacked on, but it's so cute. Reminds me of She's All That, like this She's All That type dress. It's really cute, but this is one of my favorites from Pretty Little Thing. Actually, it's like a French terry dress. So cute. And then I love this dress. I wore it to a wedding and I shared some affordable dresses. Um, I did like a whole video on it, like affordable dresses for a wedding and this one's one of my favorite. It's so cute.
This is a good dress. So cute from ASOS. Actually wore it to my dad's funeral. So I think with certain dresses like this, you guys, like I'm going to store them. I'll take them out of my closet, like this velvet dress. We're gonna store them so they're not taking up space, but I have them, so. I'll put those underneath my bed. Might as well keep these in there because they're like potentials to wear. but I probably won't be wearing them anytime soon, technically. designer purses I was talking about that are like hidden so we're going to move them move those baskets and put that stuff over there one of my favorites a little epi Louis Vuitton got that at a secondhand store this is my Louis Vuitton noir tote which was actually made you guys for champagne bottles because Louis Vuitton is a luggage company so this is to carry out a picnic for champagne bottles. I love that bag. More bags in here. So Colt Gaia totally redid this bag, you guys. But this is actually from the 70s. It is thrifted. So good. Can't get rid of that. Like, so cute, right? Then I have two of these bags, which I don't need. So I'll probably sell this one, like the clear handle bag. I have this one that is... Super cute too, as you can see, I use a lot. It's kind of dirty, but I love that. And then I have this Cal Pack travel. I was gonna sell it, but actually has my initials on it, so I guess I'll keep it. I have plane tickets. Still, what is this from? From July twenty third, two thousand. 18. Yeah. Last time I was in Europe. Oh, a long time ago. Probably should clean that out, but it's a good one. Alright. Alright, let's see. These were a thrifted pair of trousers. These are great work pants. I'm going to keep those. These were super cute, but not 100% a fan, so we'll sell these. Ooh, I love these. I forgot about these. These were a cute trouser. I should just do, pull these aside for my style video. These were so cute. I wore these in Cabo, but I think they shrunk. Or do I keep these? These are like a cute summer pant, right? These are super cute overalls and probably the only overalls that actually fit me so nicely. They're from Shopo. So cute. They shrunk. Love these pants. They're actually my mom's and they have a blazer that goes with them from the 90s. Like it's so cool. She kept some really nice things because I get to keep them. Love these pants. There is a cute matching crop top that goes with it. I'll show you guys. I love this set so much. I wore it in Rome. 
and it's just like the epitome of a summer set and it's like a vintage vibe it's linen it is so breathable so i can't get rid of that i love it so much so that's definitely a keeper but i'm also thinking you guys down here are all jackets i might move my jackets up there you know what i mean i think you guys it's just a lot i'm already over it um, this is a cute dress. So last year, I wanted a video where my parents pick out my outfit for a date, and my dad picked out this dress. So I can't get rid of it. I haven't worn it yet, but I might wear it. It's a cute one. It's from Public Desire. I think I got off ASOS. Love that one. Um, this is a good dress as well because it's like. Halloween style costume. It's a classic. Got it at H&M. Like a flapper style dress. That's so cute. Such a good one. I've had it for years. Another floral vintage dress that I had tailored. It's actually kind of short. It's like a linen dress. Let's see if it still fits me. But that'd be cute for my dad sandals video. I want to do a styling video styling my dad sandals. So it'd be cute to rock with that. Keep this out in the black slip dress. This is a really cute dress. When Choosy the brand just came out, they gifted it to me. I wish they still gifted me things. I really like their stuff, but it's such a good dress. Let's keep those. These are super cute Reformation ones, but I don't wear them. I wish they were more solid color. So we'll get rid of those. So I'm judging it based on like classics, what you could wear, what will have longevity for years and things that I really love like that plaid two piece set. You know what I mean? All right. Guys, my mom picked it out for me. We did our thrifting video together. So cute. Look at the lace on the bottom. I really, really like this dress. Like that can stay hanging. Also, my girl Macy, pretty sure you guys follow her, the thrift queen. She thrifted this and I loved it. So I kept, I bought it from her. I didn't keep it. I bought it from her. Super cute. I feel like I love vintage things so much more, you know? Oh my gosh, my mom is done. Yeah. Well, for, for this section. Thick white denim skirt, linen skirt. Cute. I'm going to keep those out for my dad's shoe styling video. This dress is so good, you guys. So is my mom's. It's a Moschino dress, and my dad bought it for her. Love, like stuff like this, so good. So, basing on how special quality, even this is a cute skirt, but probably not gonna wear it. Forever Twenty One. Mm. Love this skirt. It's actually from Nasty Gal. Nasty Gal has such good stuff. Sometimes, you guys, it's crazy how cheap it is and, like, not the best quality, but I love this skirt. So I'm going to keep that. It's so luxe looking. I found some really good stuff off Nasty Gal. Hi, Mimi. Want to say hi? Mimi, it's baby. Say hi to the fam. Yep. Yeah. Like, what are you doing, sis? I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning, bud. Thanks. Thanks, bud. I need a little yellow to break. Some leather skirt, so I guess we'll get rid of these. Well, the Betsy Johnson one is actually pleather. I love the zipper one. It was a good one. I think it could still have a moment. My 20-something self would go out with, like, super edgy looks like this when I go out with my friends. This is a guest skirt. I never wore it, so. I don't know. Is it a keeper? What do you guys think? I think I already have one. This is a really good skirt. It's like a bondage style skirt. Very Herve Leger is my mom's from the 80s. Love that. No, I'm going to get rid of that other skirt. I feel like I know what I like. me. I 
feel like these skirts are very similar. One's like a patent and one's a faux leather. I'm gonna keep this one. I feel like it's more classic. So I'll say bye bye. Okay, this is very similar to that other skirt. This is actually better quality. So we'll keep this one. Cute. I have so many hangers now. Woo! Love this skirt still, you guys. I'm gonna keep it. I don't know if it still fits me though. Definitely felt like I gained some weight during quarantine. I've also been eating whatever the hell I want. You get back to eating cleaner for sure. Okay, so I'm going to put. Jackets up there now. Oh, we're gonna have blazers down there. We'll try it out. Classically buys, definitely a keeper. Change the hanger though. jacket I thrifted. Haven't worn it out yet. Kind of forgot I had it to be honest. So we'll keep that. I love this Levi's one. It's like Sherpa. a really great down jacket from Urban Outfitters. It's probably like almost three years old now. Keep that. I love this jacket. It's embroidered. My initials. Hi, Meet me. Meatball, did we just go to the bath? Just took the boys out to the bathroom and <laughs> just walked into this room right now. <gasps> That's all to sell. Stay tuned, you guys. Go follow me. I might just get this vlog up late tonight and then do all the selling tomorrow. So if you guys catch this vlog, it'll be up. Um, yeah, so I'll wait till tomorrow for that. And then, yes, I even have to go through all my denim because I know some doesn't fit anymore. But uh, I'm going to put jackets up here. And then I'm going through jackets right now. This is a good one from Betsy Johnson that I do love. It's a classic long one from H&M, right? Or Zara. Zara. Forever my favorite jacket. And I feel like I could probably sell the denim black one just because I wear this one in regards to black jacket, you know? Forever my favorite. This is like the Urban Outfitters Vintage. Best jacket ever. Yeah, I think I might sell, because I have this one. It's super cute. Meet me, are you trying to help me? Meet me, are you trying to help? You want to make decisions? All right. Love this jacket. One of my favorites. It's actually like an acne knockoff, but it is H&M. I got it for like $30. It was a crazy steal. This is such a cute jacket, you guys. It actually has like Mickey Mouse heads embroidered. It's like a bomber style from Forever 21. It's a good one. Oh, one of my oldest DIYs. You guys saw that. Um, my friend, Tool. He's become my friend. So my dad, my dad, my grandpa actually painted this jacket for me when I was 16. He gave it to me for my 16th birthday. Really beautiful, really beautiful Native American Indian and an owl. And then I, it's like the best cut though. It's like the best vintage denim jacket. Then I took it to Tool and he embroidered Be Your Own Hero. 
And then I added all these patches. Gotta be a Mexican American. Cute. And then I added these little hearts. Well, tool, tool did them. It's hearts my mom used to sew. And then I brought it with me to Desert Trip, which was like a version of Coachella, but Roger Waters, Paul McCartney, the Rolling Stones, they all performed that day. It was like one and one time happened. My mom dragged me out there. I wasn't 100% down and I got Desert Trip embroidered on there. So pretty cool jacket and I love it. Um, my dad always told me to be cool, stay calm, cool, and collected. So that is definitely a keeper. This actually goes on to that Sherpa Levi's jacket. This is a cute denim jacket from Forever 21 with the faux fur, but the denim's like really nice. So we'll keep that one and I'm going, do I want to sell or do I just cut it? It's a really nice distressed denim jacket. Like it's really long. I don't wear it though. Maybe I'll cut it. Oh my gosh, I have a bunch of. Oh my gosh, more scarves. I'm so excited. Oh. Got some high heels underneath here. They're super cute though. Maybe I'll keep them. Ooh. Great bomber jacket, All Saints, one of my first brand collabs. Oh, I'm so excited to find I found some more scarves. Yay! This is where I actually store all my scarves. Pretty damn handy. A little scarf holder. I have to do this side and ugh, so much stuff. Really cute coats. But, oh, you guys, <laughs> I want to do this. Oh, I need to do it though. This is such a beautiful leather jacket that I spent way too much money on. Can't get rid of that. Some great jackets. I'm probably going to sell this one actually because I have my oversized one. And I prefer it, so it's such a good one. This one my dad bought me. I get rid of that. It's such a good one. This blazer I haven't worn. It's a cute color though. Eh. Don't love it. This is a cool one. This was actually a DIY I did when my dad first started, who got diagnosed with cancer. Such a fun piece, huh? I have a video on it. I'll link it above. And I painted all this stuff. It was actually super therapeutic. I painted a Corvette. Linked all of the, um, linked all of, what do you call it? The products I used to paint it. This is another fun one from Storts, you guys. Oh, it has a matching skirt, too. I love it. So random, but Storts used to gift me too. <laughs> this is a fun dress. Nasty gal, like a sparkly blazer dress. You can wear it as a blazer. You can wear it as a dress. This is a cool blazer from Song of Style. I think I, that could get another use. We'll see. How do you forget you have a Louis Vuitton duffel bag? Oh my gosh, you guys, ridiculous. It was all hidden underneath there. I'm gonna move these shelves around. Try to utilize this space better. I'm thinking I could get three rows for jackets in here. Happy Sunday, you guys. So it is the next day. I made some progress. I'm very happy, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna show you guys what I did, but this vlog is just getting really long. I also look really juicy and glowy and hydrated. Um, I, you know, 
I'm trying to get better at Self Care Sunday and I always forget to moisturize my body. I'm so into Coco Kind Skin Butter. I love that. It's very emollient. It might not be something for everybody, but I like feeling that way. I just feel hydrated. Might be a little greasy to some, but I love it. Um, face too is also very hydrated right now. But let me show you what I did. And yeah, like I said, it's gonna be a series. So I figured why make these super, super long. So this had to be arranged a couple different times. I thought I was gonna put my jackets here, but what I ended up doing is put it in, put in, oh my gosh. I ended up putting my dresses and skirts and some pants up here went ahead and added the shelves so I could store all my denim. I really didn't want my jeans on this side since I tend to wear them a bit more. Well, actually, I haven't really been wearing them during quarantine, to be honest. Um, but I have shorts and denim skirts, white and black denim. This is all my distressed denim. This is not distressed denim. And I'm so excited this bottom area can now store my bigger bags. So I have my Louis Vuitton duffel that I forgot I had which is ridiculous but in order to keep it shape what I did was I stored my Christmas sweaters in here since I only use them once a year so that'll help keep it shape and then if I ever use a bag I could just fold them here for now and then one of my other big Louis Vuitton totes that I love and these are kind of like odd shaped big beach bags so stuff those in there keep it shape cute little Miss Lola purse my Jacquemus purse which has a really tall handle so that's in there now on this side I went ahead and edited out my jacket so I actually had two rows of jackets here and really streamlined it so we have blazers leather jackets my denim jackets and some other fun jackets like this cardigan which if you follow me on Instagram, I was selling these for a minute. So cute. Great for Disneyland. I need to adjust only one hand. But this is what I always wanted when I got my closet redone a couple years ago. I really wanted to utilize the space for these bigger purses. And I'm really happy I was able to edit out and organize that. So bigger bags here. And underneath here, I folded my trousers since I'm not always wearing them. And then I edited out all my sweaters and kept vintage ones that I love. Up here are all the jackets, which I really didn't want the bulkiness like this, but you know, it works. And then purses are nicely organized. I have three rows. I still need to get the basket, but I'll update you guys when I get that. More purses, small smaller bags shoes you guys can see now a bit better so these are kind of like more summer shoes and then up there are shoes that I'm not really wearing I'm not really going out right now so that's that and this side is so much better this is amazing by the way you guys I bought this and it's whole and it holds um hangers so I keep that in my office but look at that so you can always grab a hanger it's a little disorganized but it gets the job done so here are my sneakers down here actually is supposed to be all my running sneakers and I learned this tip if you guys saw my room tour video if you organize your shoes like this you'll have more room to fit a bit more in I know that's like stuff they're kind of weird but um sneakers workout shoes edited out the boots to keep the boots that I do actually wear more often kept one high heel booty in there the other boots are going to be going under my bed sneakers should I do a sneaker collection video I think I want to and then this is like my designer row my designer sneakers well designer shoes actually just to kind of keep them there that I so I can see them and wear them and I love it and then these are just tops I'll be honest I actually didn't edit this side just yet but that'll get done we made progress I'm very happy everything else is still a mess right now but there I was editing my video. Make sure to follow me because this whole pile needs to be sold. Well, I don't think I'm going to sell this pink one. I really love this fur coat. It's a uh, faux fur from Forever 21. But I think I'm gonna do it like tops and jackets and sweaters different days. And then that's the stuff that I shared with my dresses that I'm going to store underneath my bed or figure out how to store them. I'm going to end the vlog right here. I made some progress. I'm very happy with it. And stay tuned for what my room looks like, not in disarray. And then I'll be in my office, my bathroom, it'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun, it'll be a good time. 
to have you guys rooting for me, following along, hopefully giving you guys some inspo to stay organized. So yeah, I will let you go and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.